All right, what do you got for me today, Diego? Okay, these are. Aloe. So a lot of people have been asking for this. This is 7 8 high-waisted airlift legging. This is, no. It's $210. It's like 140, 150 US. Yeah, that's probably the priciest leg I've ever seen. Um, but let's dive into it. This is a non-brush fabric. So we've done the Lululemon line, and we've done the TNA butter, and both of those are brushed. This one's not brushed. By looking at it and feeling this, I'm gonna say it's probably polyester and elastane. So maybe Vietnam. 82% polyester, 18% elastane. It's fairly soft, so it's gonna be a fairly fine thread to make this. In terms of fabric itself, it's nothing too special. It's like, it's nice, but not too special. Okay, we have a reflective brand mark. This is gonna be a heat transfer, probably 3M. We have on the inside, uh, another heat transfer for the logo and a tearaway care label on the inside. So when it comes to fabric itself, with this fabric being polyester and not being brushed, this is gonna be a lot more durable than other leggings that you see out there. In general, when it comes to the yarns and actually fabric, fabrics that are gonna be made of polyester are gonna be more durable than nylons as well. Let's take a look at the workmanship itself. A Little bit of loose thread here at the front, not the end of the world. Everything is flat locked. Okay, that's interesting. They have bar tacks on most of the flat locks. When it comes to stitching itself, when you are joining panels, you'll either back stitch it, and what that does is it holds down the threads, or you do a bar tack, and that reinforces the seam. And typically you do this in areas of high pressure, so around the waistband. I don't think I've actually ever seen it done on the gusset. So in terms of workmanship, the decision to bar tack everything is definitely an additional cost. It's going to make the legging more durable. And I would say with a fabric like this, this legging's probably gonna last a really long time. So they happen to use a different fabric for the liner of the gusset. Yeah, overall, like the workmanship's pretty good. So one thing I want to point out before I tear this down is because it's a high-waisted legging, you're gonna notice that there's side seams on both sides. And what that's going to do is allow you to taper in the waistband to give you that hourglass shape. So uh, let's tear it apart. All right, so now that we've teared it apart, here's all the components that you need to make this legging. You have your left leg panel, your right leg panel, back waistband, your front waistband, your gusset panel, your gusset liner, your tearaway care label, and your hang tag. So next steps in deconstructing this garment, we gotta figure out what the GSM is. For that, we're using our GSM cutter, and what that does is it cuts one one hundredth of a square meter of fabric. All right, so it's 287 GSM. So in terms of legging fabric, that's definitely gonna be on the higher end. I believe blue lemon aligns around 215, 220 GSM, which makes sense because this feel is a little bit thicker and more structured of a legging. So one additional benefit from a higher GSM legging fabric like this is that it's going to be a little bit thicker. It's going to be a little more structured. If you have cellulite, what's going to happen is actually going to smooth it over and make the dimples a little less noticeable. So to recap, this is a 82% polyester, 18% elastane. This is made in Vietnam. This is a non-brushed fabric. It's on the heavier weight side. Overall, the construction is really good and the fabrics on the higher end, it's going to be fairly durable and it's going to last a long time. However, at $210 Canadian, 140, 150 US, if we're talking about just the garment itself, I don't think it's worth it. However, this is where branding comes in because Aloe has clearly done a great job in terms of branding itself as the cooler version of Lululemon. And that's what's making the difference in the price. It's the brand itself. But for us to make this at Shift Fashion Group, it would probably cost us between $12 and $14. Let me know in the comments what you think about Aloe. And there you have it. This is what it costs.